Hours before his arrival, thousands gathered to meet Rashid al Ghanoushi, the leader of the Islamist movement Al Nahda. The group was banned under former President Zain al Abidin bin Ali. Large numbers of its supporters were sent to jail. Others, like al Ghanoushi, were forced into exile. His return is a milestone for his followers. We have been waiting long for this moment. I am waiting for our leader. We want to have a presence in Tunisia and offer this country the best that it deserves. This is the first public appearance by members of the movement in two decades. Years of suppression undermined the movement but apparently failed to silence its most dedicated followers. They say they won't forget their martyrs. And Nahda claims that dozens of its activists were tortured and killed. These are the supporters of Rashid al Ghanoushi, and they are saying that they are ready to die for him. But as soon as he gets out of the airport, he will confront millions of young Tunisians who haven't heard of him and who may be wary. The Islamists might become a powerful political party in what has been a very secular country. Many of Tunisia's political exiles and their families are now returning home for the first time in years. Like this man, a grandfather overwhelmed to see his grandson for the first time. <laughs> Draped by supporters in the national flag, most here waited for their leader. El Ghanoushi slowly makes his way through a crowd of supporters. The scene is chaotic and his entourage is nervous. Thousands chant slogans. For this group, it's a moment of jubilation. The path ahead is still long. Stay united. We won't be able to achieve democracy without national reconciliation. We cannot achieve development without justice and democracy. Dressed in Western clothes, El Ghanoushi's message was about democracy. Attempting to diffuse fear among some people who worry Al Nahda may have an extremist agenda. This is unfair. We were victims of oppression by a regime who spread a negative image about us. Those who talk about us that way are mistaken. This isn't our philosophy and choice. We are telling people, give us a chance, listen to our ideas, and then you can decide. Organizers taught people not to show up in huge numbers. But that could not keep this crowd from showing its support Sunday. A clear indicator of Al Nahda's power base in Tunisia. Hashim Al Barra Al Jazeera, Tunis.